Hello great people, how you doing? It's your girl the keys again. Today's tutorial will be on how to make a denim dress with African print fabric. It is not necessary you use African print fabric. You can use any type of furry fabric just to spice the dress hole. The dress will be for a girl between 8 to 9 years. Remember I always tell you girls differ in size and shape so you should just take your time to measure your key. Like here I have some pieces of fabric, leftover fabric, one, two, three, four, five. So this will, I will just make do with this. Before we go into the measurement and the tutorial proper, I just want to talk about the tools. We have the pins. This is the pattern master. This is the armhole core. We also have the main cups in wooden and plastic. This is wooden, this is plastic. This is the pan core, deep core, straight ruler. Also in wooden, pants ball, hip ball, and this is the one meter ruler. So in case you are interested, I'll put the contact number in the description box in the comment section. Now let's go over the measurements and get started. Now the length of this dress is going to be 30 inches. So with seam allowance, I could make it 31 or 32. So now having done that, then the bust measurement of this girl is 29 inches. Then the shoulder measurement, 11 or 11 and a half is fine. For the ham hole, six to six and a half is also okay. So now it's gonna have a zipper at the back. So what I'm going to do now is to cut out the front panel first, then I can use it to cut out the back panel. My chalk won't really show on the wrong side, so I'll have to mark on the right side. So now I'm just gonna check this. So the ball circumference I've said is 29, and if I divide that by four. That should give me 7.25, which is seven and quarter. So with his, I could just make it seven and half. That totally depends on your preference. And because this is an A-line dress, I'm going to add extra two to three inches to it. So I have 10 and half, or even make it 11. You can always trim the SS later. So if I have 11, I'm just going to fold this to have 11. Please note the stretchy part because I notice my, my denim is stretches towards this side. So that will be for the circumference. Don't forget that. So 11 inches. I think this is quite okay. So 11 and some little. I will always trim that off. Okay. The next thing now is to just mark a straight line here. So this will be the M of the dress. So from here, I'll just measure 31 inches with seam allowance inclusive. You can decide to make it a short, a very short dress or not too short. That totally depends on your preference. 31. Also a straight line. Now this is the total length for the dress. The next thing now is to draft out my ham hole. So six is quite okay for me. Six and a half, depending on how plump or slim the girl is. Six inches. And I'll mark that. The next thing now is to determine the shoulder, half of the shoulder measurement. You can decide to use 11 inches or 11 and half. Half of 11 inches is five and a half, but because of seam allowance, I can just make it six. So this is six inches, and you see that. So from there, I'll just come down by half an inch. I'll measure two and a half here, and from here I'll just connect to the half an inch I came down by. So this is what I have. So from here now, remember I inserted six inches here. I'll come down here to insert the same six inches in a straight line. So now the ham hole line has been formed. Before we cut out the ham hole, for the bust circumference, remember I said it's 29. So that divided by four is seven and quarter. 
that's seven point two five yeah that's seven and quarter you could decide to just make it seven and half that totally depends on you so let's just make it seven and half seven and half will be here then you would need seam allowance so for this dress half an inch is just okay for the seam allowance which will be here so that's that then we can connect the armor but before that let's just finish up with the hem so now whatever you have here just had two and a half to three inches to ease it's just okay this is eight inches can you see that so just had two and a half to three inches so when you have let's say three inches one two three so that would be 11. i'll just come down here to insert the 11 inches which happens to be the edge of the dress then i can connect let me just get my ruler is formed already now we'll go over to the handle and just use your cutter master to just do that so that was easy then for the front handle i'll just come in by quarter inch from the midpoint of this so that will be for the front handle That is done for now i'm not going to cut out the neck region why because of the patches i'm going to have to eat so first let me just cut this out at this edge you could just make a slight curve that totally depends on you and I still have to do that. Now I'll have to cut the back arm hole. So after using this as a pattern for the back pattern of the dress, then I can trim up the front arm hole. Now this is what I have. See, this is what the dress looks like. It's a short dress. Now I'm going to fold again so that I can cut out the back panel. Now I folded the remaining fabric. Then I just mark out one inch. That will be for the zipper allowance. Can you see that? So now I'm going to place this front panel here, starting from that one inch line. And just pin it down for so this i can just cut then here just extend this line so that's how i'm going to cut it off back looks like so I'm just going to slit this open straight down but because of the neckline I'll just leave that for now or we'll just cut it since I want the neck width to be three inches the reason why I did not cut this out is because of the patches because I need the midpoint but since I want to use three inches as the neck width that is what I'm going to use for the front so now this is three inches that is from the zipper allowance look at it again three inches then just come down by one inch or one and a half but one inch is just okay and i'll get my hand to pull this out so that is done
this is for the back this is the zipper allowance i just set this aside then for the front you can now trim up the front hand hole so now let me get the patches and we can start sewing the dress together now i have the patches cut out this was how i did it i just randomly 17 inches by one and a half the width is one and a half can you see that so after cutting all the strips i just folded it in can you see with my pressing high on I just press this in to have three quarter inch so these ones i have here are three quarter inches in width but the one i cut out initially was one and a half so now this i gave it a good press that's the front panel to you know where the crease is so with this i can know that is the middle so i'll just decide which one i want to be in the middle so maybe let me just take this so this will be on the crease can you see that isn't that beautiful then you take your pin to pin it down See that you have to work with it gently and you make sure it is straight then you can decide which one will go next let me just use this shade and you see this this will go next then this could be the third one that is from the middle and then i could do the same thing here and then this will be here or better still you could cut this and then mix it up for instance i could just cut this maybe three three inches that totally depends on you and i'll take this the same way. so here because this has to be shorter the next one so you could just come up one and a half inches upward from here then you can mix it up can you see that and this then this a small one or you move it up a bit again so this totally depends on your preference make sure there's space in between here so this is quite okay like this then this will just be a straight panel then this also i could just mix it up the same way i mix this up and then you make sure you pin it maybe half an inch space in between is okay or quarter in that totally depends on your preference you could instead of having five here you could make it seven that totally depends on you but make sure they are shorter like this is shorter than this so this will have to come up a bit can you see that so i have to follow that step here i'm going to mix this also so the same length then this comes up a little bit can you see that just pin it down after pinning it all down i'll take to the sewing machine then so this has to be folded in because you can't just leave the raw edge so i'll use my pressing iron to do this also but with my hand i could just fold it in and you see you take to your sewing machine make sure all the raw edges are in and pin it down then you just run your stitch this way all down then you just finish it up so i'll do that and show you what it looks like so looking at it now you can see we've sewn this first patch you can see it's so beautiful so the next one now will be this one so this will have to start maybe two or three inches it depends on how high you want this to come so then the distance totally depends on you it will be so close it could be farther so it depends on you then this will have to come up then this will be the next one so that's how i'm going to sew it all around now after sewing it this is what i have you can see it's so beautiful <laughs> yes i love it so now i'm now going to have to fold this again Remember for the back, we took three inches for the width. 
we are going to do the same thing for the front again just take your time to make sure everything is on fold so can you see that the next thing now is to take my measuring tape then mark three inches here so three inches is here then for the neck depth i can decide to make it two and a half or three but let me just make it three two then with this i can connect with my free hand or my hammer curl or better still let me just take my hammer curl so with my hammer curl now i can get that perfect u shape To do this gently because it's quite thick now. So let me just open it up. Can you see how beautiful it is? So beautiful. Can you see that now? So the next thing now is to firstly fix the zipper for the back to make it easier. So I've made videos on how to fix zipper. Can you see that? So first, you can just decide where you want the zipper to stop. So it depends on how long you want it to be. So let me just say 10 inches is okay. Can you see that? So what I will now have to do is this. Fold it this way. After folding it this way, then I will have to note where I want the zipper to stop. I want it to stop here. Then I will now have to sew the one inch seam allowance I left from this end and stop here. Since I want the zipper to stop here. So after then, I can now fix the zipper. So now I've sewn it. Can you see? I've sewn the seam allowance. This is the opening for the zipper. Can you see that? So the next thing is to insert the zipper and fix it up. Zipper is in between it, then just place it here. Then we are still going to finish up this neckline with a bias strip, so you have to take note of that. So you could just move the zipper inward a little bit. Now that the zipper is in it, just make sure it's on it. Then all you have to do is just do this. With the zipper then come up like this that's all zipper has been fixed you can see that the next thing now is to join the shoulders so right side facing each other and you see that so i'm just going to take in a quarter of an inch or one inch at the shoulder here here and i'll show you now the shoulder has been taken in can you see that the next thing now is to just use the bias strip to finish up the neckline that we can sew the sides and all that. So now I'll just take the same machine and finish it up with the bias strip. I'll do the same thing with the hammer area before I close the sides. So the neckline and hammer area. Looking at it now, I've finished the hammer area, the neckline. The next thing now is to turn to the wrong side to just finish up the edges. Just sew one inch in. Then you hem the lower parts, and that is all. A French seam will be better for this here because since there's no lining in the denim, so French seam will be better. So now just going to take one inch. Uh, sorry, I left half an inch, so half an inch on both sides and hem the lower parts. That's all. So I'll do that and show you the final result. Now this is the result of the outfit we just made. You can see it is so beautiful and nice. Make sure you make yours for your girl. And if you are not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss out on any of our tutorials. Follow me on Instagram, the Key Signatures. On Facebook, our sewing group is Sewing Innovations. I'll be waiting for you there. Subscribe.